Okay, hello mga kapatid, mga kapamilya, mga kapuso. Welcome again to my channel. At ngayon, solve natin itong tatlong problem. So, these are number problem. So, posible na yung makatulong sa inyong pagre-review para sa college entrance examination. Okay, so, number one. The sum of two numbers is 16. And the sum of their squares is 146. Find the two numbers. So, kapag ganyan... Represent lang natin yung dalawang number as x plus y is equal to 16 kasi hindi mo alam. And then, the sum of their square, ibig sabihin, x squared plus y squared is equal to 146. So, so maggawa tayo ng substitution. Pwede natin na-express itong equation na to as y is equal to, lipat natin si x doon, from 16 minus x. So, since y is equal to 16 minus x, pwede natin ilipat doon kay, substitute kay y. So, we have x squared plus si y magiging 16 minus x. Quantity squared is equal to 146. Then, simplify natin to x squared plus 16 times 16. So, sketch tayo. 16 times 16. 6, 36. 6, So, 16. Then, 16 times x. 16x times 2. We have 32 x then x times x 146 okay next pwede natin combine to x squared 2x squared minus 32x plus 256 so is equal to 0 sorry 146 Ipat natin doon, gawin natin 0 yung sign. So, 2x squared minus 32x plus. Pag i-minus natin ito doon, magiging 0, 1, n 1. So, 256 minus 146 is 110. So, so since ito ay divisible by 2 lahat, equation naman ito, ilawas term natin x squared minus 16x plus 55 is equal to 0. So, next, i-factor natin. So, x, x. Si 55, anong factor ni 55 na ang sum ay 16? So, that is 11 at saka 5. 15 times 5 is 11 times 5 is 55 and 11 plus 5 is 16. So, minus minus. Kasi minus yun. Equals to 0. So, x minus 11 equals 0. So, x is equal to 11. x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 5. So, the, the two numbers are 11 and 5. So, check natin. Dito. So, 11 plus 5 is 16. 11 times 11 is 121. And then, 5 times 5 is 25. So, sakto lang. The sum is 146. So, our answer is 11 and 5. 2. Find the two numbers whose difference is 5 and the difference of their square is 65. So, ganun lang din katulad kanina. No? So, so since difference, pwede x minus y is equal to 5. The difference of their square is x squared minus y squared is equal to 65. Okay, so 
ito, pwede natin express as, ito na lang ilipat natin. So, x is equal to 5 plus y. So, si x, pagawin natin 5 plus y. So, kapag sinubtitute dito, 5 plus y, quantity squared minus y, squared is equal to 65. So, square natin to. So, 25 times 5 times y is 5y times 2 and y. Then, y times y is y squared minus y squared is equal to So, this will become 0. y squared minus y squared is 0. So, we have 10y is equal to 65. Lipat na natin si 25 doon minus 25. So, we have 10y is equal to 40. So, divide both side by 10. So, y is equal to 4. So, yan yung isang number. So, kung y is equal to 4, so, balik tayo dito, x is equal to 5 plus y. So, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So, ito yung dalawang number natin. So, check natin. Okay, so ang x ay 9, 9 minus 4 is 5. Tama. Difference daw, 9 times 9, 81. 4 times 4, 16. 81 minus 16 is 65. So tama lang. Nang sagot natin ay 4 at saka 9. Number 3. The product of two consecutive integers, ibig sabihin yung unang integer mo ay x dahil hindi mo alam times, yung susunod ay x plus 1 consecutive integer is 47 more than 47 more than the next consecutive integers, ibig sabihin x plus 2 na ok, so try natin simplify, so x times x x squared times x equals x plus 49 so lipat natin doon x squared plus x minus x minus 49 equals 0. Magiging 0 to. So, we have x squared minus 49 equals 0. So, factor. So, x minus 7 at saka x plus 7. Okay. So, x is equal to 7 or x is equal to negative 7. Check natin doon. So, 7 squared is 49 plus 7 is 56. So, dapat equal daw siya kay 47 x plus 2 natin ay 7 plus 2. So, this is also 50. So, tama yung sagot natin na x equals to 7. Okay, so that's all for today. Sana nakatulong itong problems na to sa inyong pagre-review. Okay, so, yun lamang. Maraming salamat. God bless.